Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here, as you see right there, and also on my new channel, I'll be putting all my ballistics information up kind of as a backup channel called Ballistics Gel, so please subscribe to that new channel as well, and I hit the treasure trove of information. I've made a lot of ballistics videos where, unlike everybody else, I'm giving you actual FBI data, but not only this data, but I found the treasure trove last night. So besides all the official, actual FBI ordinance calibrated testing from the manufacturers, Vista, Federal, Spear, Winchester, uh, Hornady, Critical Duty, Critical Defense that I've given you in multiple videos, but not only that, but I have found the actual official data for bear gel and heavy clothing from the FBI. I hit the jackpot. So if you want to compare calibers, this is the first video on 380. And does it really suck or not? Or does it totally depend on ammunition selection? Um, it really puts some things in perspective. 380, I'm going to do one on 38 Special. I'm going to do one on 357 Magnum, 9 mil, 40, 45, 10 millimeter. All the actual testing data from the late 80s to the late 90s from the FBI with a little bit of other data sprinkled in the official testing data from Winchester, from uh, Vista slash Spear slash Federal, um, and from Hornady on critical defense, critical duty a little bit, but I've done a lot of that in videos in the past. So make sure you subscribe and watch all these videos. I have recently finished five of my own ballistics tests. Uh, testing a variety of rounds you're going to want to check out. Here's one I'm going to pull because we'll be talking about it a little later. This is the 38 Hydroshock Deep, uh, but that looks just like the picture. And um, we'll be relating that to the 380 round with official data from Vista in a bit. Um, so, guys, I found the treasure trove, real FBI data. I've had this. I've given you this before. Uh, but this is the overall in the eight events, not the six they do nowadays. But this is the overall testing data um, through averages through eight events, five rounds each, four, uh, 40 rounds. Nowadays, it's six tests. They got rid of two. Uh, five rounds and six, so it's 30 rounds. But the penetration, expansion, see some of them have very little expansion. Not only was it lower tech back then, but that's going through all the barriers, right? And multiple tests, especially steel and windshields, are very, very hard to defeat. But this one's about 380, and I've made uh, a lot of videos on ballistics. Um, 380 sucks, 380 ammo selection, um, 9mm ammo selection, 45 ammo selection, the best 5 plus 1 ammo selection choices, uh, then 4 part series 9 versus 45, uh, no BS caliber where I really get into the tissue crush and the math of everything, but let's look at how 380 hollow points actually do, Winchester silver tip, PPK, so 3, 3 and a half inch barrel, look at the data there, in 89 from the FBI, only 6.84 inches of penetration. No expansion. 6.84 inches of penetration. So maybe 380 is even worse than you see in clear ballistics. Clear ballistics doesn't matter. I have videos explaining that. Clear ballistics doesn't matter. Let's look at 380. This is officially from Winchester, both in 2010 and 2016, listing the official information. 7.65 penetration. Heavy clothing, which kind of more matters. Always, I pretty much default to looking at heavy clothing or four-layer clothing tests in real organic ordnance gelatin, not clear ballistics. Only 7.85 penetration. You put those in clear ballistics, they're going to go way, way, way farther because smaller diameter because it's less dense as drag. But now you're here to look at the real FBI data of other rounds. This first one's from the manufacturer's. From Remington, they gave this data from a 4-inch barrel of only 9.7 penetration barrel gel, 0.51 expansion, and clothed gelatin of 8.8 .8 and 0.62. Sometimes we don't know if that means four-layer denim or if it means uh, FBI-style heavy clothing. Um, so, I even from Remington, 
that's not very good. And that's a round that I've recommended as being an okay choice because with the higher than average grain weight, you would think it would retain momentum better than what this FBI test or better than what Remington is claiming here themselves. Ah, <sighs> so 380. We're going to get to some of the better choices. Uh, but back in the day, let's see how they did. Silver tip. 7.9 and 9.1 penetration. So that doesn't matter. If it doesn't get at least 10 and a half inches of penetration, 10, 10 and a half inches of penetration. Remember, F FBI says 12 to 18. Everyone quotes that, but they don't tell you that FBI gives the most points for 14 to 16 penetration in, in all the tests. Bear, heavy clothing, steel, windshield, etc., uh, wood, uh, pine board, all that stuff. Uh, I don't think uh, Spear makes this round anymore, but maybe I'll find it someday. 88 grain. That's doing quite a bit better, at least on the penetration numbers. So this old 88 grain Spear CCI. Almost meeting 12 with decent expansion for a 380. And in clothing, 7.25 penetration, but no expansion at all. Uh, no surprise there, but that's better than most 380 rounds as far as penetration. Now let's look at the gold dot. We got a winner here with a gold dot, 3.25 inch barrel, which is the same as a Glock 42, longer than LCP. Bear and clothing. So once you get to the gold dot, we're looking at Mm, often bullets recovered either are going to look just like the heavy clothing or four-layer denim, or they're going to look something in between the bear gel and clothes gel. Real ordnance, organic, gelatin, calibrated, pr uh, proper temperature results, not clear ballistics, okay? Uh, here's the Hydra Shock. Low on the bear, better on the clothes, so... Um, I would say the Hydro Shock's okay, and I know some people have used it when it's a frontal shot to success. Um, though, you know, if you got to go through an arm, that's a little light on the bear gelatin. I'd probably go with the gold dot there because at least you're getting good penetration numbers. Uh, but for all you 380 guys that say it's as good as a 9mm and 38, I'll pull up some more in a little bit. So... Surprisingly good results, I would say, from the gold dot and decent S for a 380 from the Hydroshock. Now, remember, you want 12 to 18 slash 14 to 16 inches of penetration and 1.5 times initial diameter expansion. I have a controversial video, FBI wrong. Uh, 12 to 18 not needed. Civilians 10 and a half to 12 is usually okay. You might want to watch that because it typically will be okay, right? But it depends if it has to go through an arm first, side lateral through the body, uh, etc. So forth. Uh, and the body's heterogeneous. Different organs are very tough, including the skin. Very elastic, very stretchy. Just going through skin is actually a lot harder than you think. Um, so here is, uh, later, obviously critical defense. It's invented from a LCP 2.75 inch barrel. Let's look at the gelatin results. A lot of people consider this a better round in 380. Heavy clothing 10.25, 10.25. So that's meh. I've said 10, 10, 10, 10 to 10 and a half might be okay. 10 and a half to 12, I've said is probably okay. I always kind of want 13 inches of penetration with huge expansion myself. Um, outside of a couple very high velocity old school federal rounds for particular carries, particular needs, particular environments. Um, but that's mad because heavy clothing actually retards expansion. So you get farther penetration typically through clothing, heavy clothing or four layer denim barrier than you do through bear gel because you would get more expansion in barrel jail. So if he's if it's in between, which a lot of bullets recovered will be in between, is that deep enough to reach the goodies? So until Federal came along with the new Hydroshock Deep, I was really down on 380 and kind of very questionable 38 from a snub. Uh, but now we look at this FBI data. This is data from Federal. And I want you to read that part right there. Typical results of 13 to 13 and a half penetration in bear gel, 13 and a half to 14 inches through heavy clothing. Barrel ranges all ranging from two and three quarter, like an LCP, 
to three and a half. That covers your 3.25 uh, Glock 42s. That covers the three and a half inch bursts and PPKs. So they've done their homework testing in different barrelings and getting amazing 13 to 14 inches of penetration with about 1.4 times original diameter expansion. Here's a day where they tested a bunch, including from other manufacturers. Penetrates 13 inches. Upside or expansion of 0.496. It just did 9.3 inches of 647. But we're talking about the Hydroshock Deep going further. 13 and a half inches, 0.514 expansion. That kind of tells me, at least with that round, get Hydroshock Deep. And I would suggest it in 38 Special as well. And you know you're getting over 13 inches of penetration with very good expansion. During the same testing, and I totally believe them, Hydroshock Deep 380 also penetrated deeper than any other brand, including Hornady, Remington, Winchester, and Sig. So, quick look-see before we go... On the Wayback Machine, Winchester Official. Remember that 7.85 inches? Oh, but 380 is the same as 38, you say? Nope, 11.3. 617, very good round, this Winchester uh, Ranger or Bonded, whatever, 38 plus P round, 130 grand. I Jack Deep's going to go even better now. Um, and then compared to the 9, for those guys that say 9 millimeters is the same as 380. Hmm, 7.8 inches, not enough to meet the organs, even if you don't go through an arm, probably not, versus 13.2 with the 9 mil and way bigger expansion, way bigger wound cavity, way more amount of tissue crush. So there you guys go. That's the real FBI data and real official data on 380. I do. Uh, I haven't tested it because I don't own a 380 anymore. I got rid of it. Uh, but I do suggest the Hydroshock Deep, especially in 380 and 38 Special, to make things do what they're supposed to do. Look at the picture, look at the bullet, and then look at my test of this compared to the 125 grand Remington somebody jacket and hollow point, and you will see, yes, it's quite a difference. So anyway, guys, look at the videos coming uh, for all the other calibers. I'm Dan the Wolfman, and... I'm Ballistics Gel now. Make sure you subscribe to that channel as well as a backup. And maybe I can make it for all the ballistics information. Thank you very much. Let me know in the comments down below what caliber you carry and what rounds you choose.